Good morning, love muffins. I'm bright and early today, y'all. I got a full day. I can y'all believe I got a 17. My grandson is 17. He, it was the 31st, but we celebrating today. But it's like I got a grandson that is almost grown around this boy. And this child, I promise you, I mean, I can't even call him a child right now. This pre-adult, <laughs> man, his mind is amazing. I mean, we all, we've always had this telepathic communication. Like even as a child, when he was in the womb, honey, he tried to come early and I hadn't moved yet. I had to move to a bigger house. And I swear my daughter was having contractions like every five minutes. And I just like spoke to her belly, like, you gotta wait. You gotta wait until we move, baby. I promise you her contractions stopped. And he came the night we moved, he came. <laughs> So we're going to go celebrate that today. So I'm excited about that. We always have fun. Um, I picked up on two energies when I woke up. We have a masculine energy that's confused at why uh, the women around him are upset because he didn't choose them, I guess, to be in a connection with. But the thing about these women is like, these are the Cindy Lauper bitches. These are the, you know the fun women, the one that do anything and everything. And it's like, that's fun when a man is, you know, so on his royal oats or, you know, when he's in that knighthood energy, that's cool. Yeah, 10 or one on the clock as I say this mirror. Um, I feel like this man wasn't growing spiritually with these women. And um, he may be at a place in his life where he really um, wants to elevate spiritually. So, you know, you got a, a bunch of bitter betties running around and a divine masculine that's confused. We're going to see if that energy come out, if we can dig any deeper into that. Um, just went out and did, looked at my garden. I got about four or five more watermelons that's growing. I'm excited. <laughs> and then the flower bed the other day, I don't even think I finished the story. I Like I said, I planted some um, cucumbers, some beans, and uh, some onions. And the box been empty the whole summer. But I looked out there and I literally got, is, is that box going crazy right now. But they got to hurry on September 2nd. Man, I got to watch the news and find out when that first frost come. Okay, y'all. So we're going to get off into this reading and see what we can pull up. I ask my ancestors, my angels, and my spirit guides to please assist me with this read. Please remove any personal thoughts and feelings so that they do not influence the read. With any negative energy, we ask that it be returned to sender tenfold. Espere, Jorge, my entourage. Papa Mea. Let's see what to do, y'all. Let me make some room right fast. Mm. <sighs> Let's get into it. Yeah, we got service and envy in reverse. Yeah, these are women that were providing a service. Now they're trying to act like they're not envious or jealous. Yeah, but they actually are jealous of and envious of someone's growth. That, that saying behind every great man is a great woman. And it's like, the Cindy Lauper bitches, those aren't the ones that, like they don't give a fuck about your growth. They don't give a fuck about your spirituality. They just want you to keep, you know, stay in the lower vibrational energy. Cause as long as you're still lower vibrational, yeah, they doing, they persistent about doing something out of envy. As long as you're longer, lower vibrational, then they will be appealing to you. I'm telling you that empathy is coming out strong. Empathy in reverse and courage in reverse. So, yeah, somebody has no empathy, but they ain't bold, though. They, they trying to find the courage to do something. Yeah, because they feel like they it's going to be... Uh, 
they're going to feel regret about it or they may be feeling regret about it. Child, why would this thing come right under me? This damn robo bag. This thing is... This thing's stupid. I'm stuck under my chair. <laughs> yeah, somebody is envious out of low self-esteem. I guess the karmic's up first today, y'all. We got regret in reverse. Okay. So maybe they ain't got no regret about what they did or what they're doing. I don't know. We're going to find out what they're doing. Five, five, five on the clock. Yeah, you ain't got no regret about it, but what you're doing may cost you your freedom. Yeah, they getting impatient with about something. They I was gonna say I heard running out of time. So somebody's running out of time to do something. Whatever it is, they ain't got no remorse about it. They ain't got no regret about it. Give me two more spirit. Man. Death to the freedom in reverse. Somebody may be going to jail for murder or attempted murder. Maybe this is what they're going to try with this patience in reverse. They may be trying to kill somebody, but the shit is not working out. But they may have been caught trying to plan this. You know, you even have a conversation about killing somebody. That is conspiracy. Yeah, you're trying to do it for some money, but Spirit says you're not getting that bag. Complete stop. Justice in reverse. You thought the justice system was going to work in your favor? Or you thought you may have had somebody that could have helped you fix this? Or manipulated somehow so that you wouldn't go to jail, but that's not going to happen? Somebody may have um, pulled back from sex because you're trying to balance out your life with this temperance, in reverse, temperance card to the Knight of Wands in reverse. You may have your eye on someone you see is single and stable. You're attracted to them. You're also well endowed. Somebody has no regret about freeing themselves, maybe from a home situation, or a family, a home that you may have shared with someone. Tell you, Ace of Pentacles in reverse again. Whoever think that, yeah, Tower in reverse. Whoever think they finna get paid off of killing somebody, that's that shit finna blow up in your face. King of Wands in reverse. This man, why we? Why you got to start with him? Somebody has no regret about a connection that they want to go into. Yeah, somebody is impatient because they keep trying to cause somebody conflict. And apparently it's not working if they're being, if they're impatient. Yeah, somebody keeps trying to contemplate on how to take somebody's life. They can't figure out how to do it. You got the king of swords in reverse. This is a very immature masculine energy. Um, with this freedom in your verse, you may be in a connection where you literally just using words and swords, fickle, playing one person against the other, or like just stuck in your ways and your opinions. And yeah, somebody became enlightened about a connection that they want to go into. They may have gotten some spiritual counseling. Yeah, for um, cups to this patience in reverse. Yeah, somebody sad as fuck. They can't, they're not successful at bringing conflict to someone. You may have lied and said that um, the person that this person wants to go to isn't single. Yeah, the magician in reverse to that death card. 
Like, yeah, that's not, whatever you planning is not going to work. And whoever this dark high priestess that y'all going to 10, 10 on the clock, as I say this, the only reason she keeps telling you what you want to hear is because she's afraid of you, King of Wands in reverse. So she keep taking your money and telling you that certain things are going to happen and they're just not. She's just telling you that out of fear. Foxy, go sit your dumb ass down somewhere. Yeah, I can't make it out. Somebody's trying to figure out how they can lay somebody to rest. Somebody's still trying to figure out how they can kill somebody. And this King of Swords in reverse that's trapped in this relationship are either... You in the five of cups, you depressed, you sad, you um, feel like you're in a sunken place emotionally. You feel trapped in a connection. Yeah, I can't make it up to the sun in, in reverse. You're depressed. You're lonely. You feel sad inside. You feel like you're bound to something. Listen to the devil. I can't even make it up. Give me something on this regret sphere. Or regret in reverse. Give me regret in reverse sphere. Yeah, you are. This is a King of Pentacles that may be going into a connection with someone that they um. This is someone new. This isn't someone from your past. I can't make it up to the Two of Cups, man. To the Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody has no regret about that decision. I heard fuck whoever don't like it. Oh shit. Okay. I heard fuck whoever don't like it. Yeah, this and this conflict that someone tried to cause backfired. Listen, I can't make it up to the tower in reverse. Two backfires. Somebody may have tried to um, challenge this person as far as their decision is concerned about who they wanted to connect with, but that shit didn't work at all. They tried to bring conflict, but they in the four of cups around this boy. They missed the opportunity. Somebody may have cut off all communication with this person with this eight of wands in reverse. And with this tower in reverse, this was a blow up to this person. They never expected this person to cut them off. And this person is trying to do this death that's trying to kill somebody. The spirit said, don't take that risk. The person that you're trying to go for is chosen. And you already know what happens when you come for a chosen one. You will be the one that's whatever grave you planned for this person. That's going to be the one you're going to lie in. And that's in real time. Give me something on this King of Swords in reverse. I don't know who this is. I feel like this is maybe a separate energy from this King of Pentacles. Or this was you. This is how you felt before you were in a connection that you felt like um, was toxic with this devil energy. Yeah, this energy might have stopped you from moving forward and it had you in the Nine of Swords. Yeah, but you realize you had to release all those people because you realized that they were trying to sabotage you. This is three cards about death in this spread. And you may be a chosen one and you may not realize that you're chosen. But with this devil to the temperance card, you may have figured that out somewhere down the line. You had a spirit guide that stepped in. You may have had a lot of sleepless nights. Um, just a lot of anxiety, um, not being able to sleep. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Yeah, you found out that all that whoever you were in this connection with, somebody was dirty. Somebody was dirty. 
they're enraged now because you have victory. Um, I, I heard I just heard leveled up. You leveled up spiritually. Yeah, they're watching you bring your life into balance. Somebody's stalking you. Yeah, this King of Wands in reverse, they don't want you to go into a, a connection. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to close the cycle. They're enraged inside. You found out that they were on some sneaky shit. Seven of Swords in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they want to come in and apologize so they can get close to your money. They want you to let your guard down and um, feel like they got love for you. Your baby mother might have lied to a group of people to try to get them to um, go against you and you block them out and stop giving to them. Mm. All right, y'all, we're going to pull up out of this energy. Yeah, somebody freed themselves. Wait, did they free themselves? Well, they had to free themselves because they ain't got no regrets about walking away from this connection, which I don't blame you. You got people trying to bring you conflict and drama so they can try to take you out. We got three cards on this table about death. But this person is chosen. Man, none of that going to work. That's why the angel popped out so fast. Right after the devil, the angel popped out. So this may have been a person that did wallow in like toxicity with this devil to the sun card in reverse to the five of cups in reverse. This was a very depressed energy. This was a very oppressive energy. And somebody um, with this temperance card, yeah, somebody got an angel God. Like when you was crying at night, you had an angel on the side of you. I don't know. Damn, back in Kenya. I swear this vacuum clean. I need to get the one that mopped too. I had to invest in that. Yeah, but somebody was in there was was bound to some very depressive energy. You had somebody in your life that kept you in the sunken place, that kept you in this King of Swords energy. It's like bitter words back and forth, bitch ass nigga, punk ass bitch. Like this is like this was the environment that someone was in, and I feel like that's why they don't have any regret about moving on to another connection that they see as like a connection where they can actually be free to be themselves. This death card, somebody is definitely planning on trying to murder someone. If it came out three times. That means that somebody is trying desperately. They're trying a bunch of different ways. Um, That 10 of swords, that might be 10 different ways. They might be trying to kill your finances. They might be trying to kill other connections between you and other people. They may be trying to, um, mess with your job they may be trying to um this is somebody that maybe this is i'm looking at the red on this card like somebody may be putting like something in someone's drink they may be putting like that's, that's so disgusting they may be putting like period blood in someone's drink to try to get them to fall from y'all motherfuckers man oh but they're becoming impatient because they can't get next to someone. If you have been um, falling back from people, stand in your uh, power because these people are getting impatient. It's like they literally just want to walk up to you and just take you out at this point because they've tried every sneaky, underhanded way to do it, but they just can't. And that may be because you're being elusive to them. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you stuck out of envy. Somebody keeps you want to keeps you in that that stagnant, negative, depressive energy out of envy. And that's how you can tell that that's somebody that doesn't love you in real time, because when you really have true, unconditional love for somebody, you want to see them happy, even if it's not with you. And this is somebody that rather had leave them off in a bitter ass situation. Yeah, they keep trying to figure out more imaginative ways to steal your freedom. And shit, that might even be just your freedom to breathe at this point. I 
I had to realize she be going hard at this cat because this cat be fucking with her. <laughs> he be fucking with her in real time. He be he in this little kitten stage, so he still play too much. <laughs> he ain't grew up yet. He still play too much. It was 2020 on the clock when I said that. Somebody's looking forward to the change in their life and they're not worried. Yeah, they call final judgment on something. Yeah, because they're committed to their growth. Yeah, dial in reverse. Yeah, somebody is very clear about what they want to do. Somebody keeps putting a thought in your head that it's going to fail. But with that imagination card, that is just some projection. That is someone trying to make you believe that. But with this doubt in reverse, I feel like somebody is not hearing none of that. It's like somebody know what they know, and that's period in the story. Listen, doubt in reverse to the trust. Listen to the success, to the worry in reverse. So I'm talking about somebody is like really listening to their own intuition at this point, which is always beautiful. Yeah, they didn't put their guard up because they want to go into another connection. Yeah, they're going to, this person is going to be very possessive over the person that they're going to. But I don't know why, but that two of cups, I feel like this is going to be both of them, though. This isn't going to be something that's one sided. Yeah, and that people trying to cause conflict and drama to stop someone from going into the connection. That DNA strand, these people may share a child, they may create a child together. To me, that looks like a DNA strand. Yeah, somebody's going into a connection where there's not going to be any conflict with that angel above that this is like something that is divinely protected. I think I said something in the reading yesterday about an angel being assigned to two people to make sure that they come. Yeah, that angel is going to block out any conflict. Either. Yeah, give me something on this doubt in reverse and trust spirit. I feel like somebody's trusting themselves. See, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yes, yeah, somebody's trusting their intuition. And they know something is going to be successful. Listen to the lovers. I can't make it up. If somebody thinks it's a bad judgment call for you to go into this connection because you don't really know this person, but with the page of cups, this person is actually very genuine. You may have been watching this person and you know that y'all will be a great match. Yeah, and you got the bit of Betty's mad as shit. This may be up to five women or either I see like two men and three women. So you may have two men in your mix that hate the fact that you're going into a connection and you may have three bit of bitches. Yeah. You got one child, uh, one younger energy, and then you may have one older that may look like she's more sophisticated and she's more grounded. She may have gave that impression, but she is with the drama as well. She's in on it too. She wants you to drop your guard. Yeah, and they don't want you to watch someone speak. Yeah, because they're trying to get you to. They're trying to get you to lose it all with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're trying to get you to lose it all. And listening to the death card, I'm telling you, they're trying to take your money and make sure you die. Like somebody is, but they tired as hell because whatever they're trying is just not working. Listen, missed opportunity, I can't make it up. You would think people would just give up by now. Give me. Yeah, you may have stopped communicating with a high priestess in reverse. This is a, a, um, a dark. Yeah, this is a, a someone that that practices black magic. They practice a lot of manipulation. And with this eight of wands in reverse, you stop you stop even talking to this person. You may have um. Yeah, the fact that this connection is going to be um a success is going to have a lot of people heartbroken.
Yeah, somebody's not working, worried. They're just um focusing on their finances right now. Yeah, somebody, baby mama, finna be pressed in distress. She's finna be heartbroken. But a queen of cups in reverse, she's not very nurturing. Um, that's what it is. She wasn't worried because she thought that something that she did with a dark high priestess was going to be successful, but she's heartbroken because she's realizing that that shit didn't work. Give me something on this worry in reverse, baby. Yeah, I just seen the Ten of Cups in reverse. Something did not work. She really believed that something was going to work here. Yeah, she's trying to act like she's not worried, but she's in the sunken place in real time. Yeah, over someone's success. This chosen one, this person may make this person feel some type of way. Because if they're walking around in this star energy, um, someone that's creative, someone that is grow, that has grown spiritually, um, that has assistance from unseen forces, um, they represent hope, renewal, beauty, a period of spiritual tranquility, happiness, and positive opportunities. So this woman knows that this is what this person is going to. And it's making her feel some type of way because she a queen of cups in reverse. She's heartbroken because she sees this chosen form, this star energy as something that she could never be. And she knows that it's going to be a success. She knows that. That's why she in the five of cups over here trying to pretend like she's not worried. Or somebody else. Oh, yeah, she's in the five of cups and somebody else knows that this is going to be a win. Somebody knows that this is going to be successful. I can't lie to you with the strength card. Give me something else on this doubt and trust spirit. Yeah, somebody ancestors in the underworld is, is is on this um high priestess in reverse ass. Yeah, somebody pulled back on not only from this dark high priestess, but like friends and associates as well. Yeah, baby mama in the nine of swords around here. She pressed in distress. Why? Because somebody is not sweeping her off her feet no more. But the Queen of Cups energy, this is someone that is very um unappreciative. Like, this is somebody that's entitled or feel like somebody has to, um, like, kiss their ass. Like, in real talk. Now, her ass up here in the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups around this boy. Because she just got, this is really low vibrational energy. Yeah, because she wanted to keep somebody stuck, but it was exposed. Somebody may be really depressed after having sex with this woman. Because you know she's sneaky as hell and you know that she's not your wish fulfillment. Yeah, somebody ancestors in the underworld is like, uh, she, she, it, they are directing this shit. But that kind of comes in reverse. It's like, that's like losing everything. But it's because of their own energy, though, that they're losing everything. You're doing black magic. You doing little sneaky stuff to try to stop someone from moving forward, basically affecting someone's free will. I mean, don't nobody want to be in a connection with someone and feeling like they tied down. Yeah, this was a blow up in her face because she may have been able to do this shit for years. Blow up in who face the devil. Toxic. Okay, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. I'm going to pull from a different deck because... I'm not going to keep reading this shit. I heard desperate times call for desperate measures. I don't know what that means, but somebody need to be mindful. I keep hearing, I keep, I don't know why that brazen car keeps coming out of this. Um, I keep seeing that car with this African goddess deck, but we're going to see what it is. Because I feel like a brazen attack, like somebody's going to be really bold and just attack somebody. Like they try to die, they tired of trying to slip shit in your drink. They tired of trying to set you up with bitches because you're not interested. They want to shit. They may even try to set you up with a man if they feel like that's something that you like. So you need to be mindful because um, spirit is showing me a man laying around literally balls out naked and motherfuckers coming in. When you That's the most vulnerable position you can be in is to be ass naked. 3003 mirror on the clock when I say that. 
is like that's the most vulnerable position you can be in is ass naked laying next to a man or a woman and those people rat and got somebody outside that door ready to kick that fucking door in you ass naked in real time and somebody needs to be mindful you may be wanting to have sex but you got to ask yourself is that sex gonna be worth your fucking life because that is will be the outcome Yeah, spirit say um connect with someone that is worthy. Oh, I saw that pleasure in words in this rye right? because the motherfuckers that you picking, that if they're not worthy of your time, of your energy, they are going to betray you. Look, secrets revealed in reverse. Somebody don't want me to say this, but I'm gonna say it. Yeah, make sure the person that you desire is worthy. Especially if this is this chosen energy that I that I pulled out earlier today. If you're a chosen one, yeah, you you need to be really mindful about who you share your DNA with. Yeah, somebody may be cutting cords with a, a, uh, from a loveless connection. You may have cleared your energy, your energetic field of someone. Let me mix these things on cards up, y'all, because I'm just. <laughs> Man. No matter of fact, since I got these incense burning behind here, I'm going to run some smoke over these boards. Oh, shit, what's left? Listen, and the uh, one card that's still sticking up real good is that damn betrayal. Yeah, somebody needs to be really mindful about who they decide to connect with sexually. Because somebody got betrayal on their mind. Betrayal to the storms. Mm. Yeah, Spirit saying cut the cords to people that you know have a tendency to betray people, or do you, or that you know for a fact has betrayed you. And a lot of times I, I saw parts because I know I was one of these people that people would betray me over and over again. But this this little heart of mine will always want to be like, you know, forgive them, forgive them, forgive them. They gonna grow, they gonna heal, but fuck that. I'm not I, I'm not required to um take the abuse from someone, whether it be mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm I'm not required to sit and be the uh martyr for people that are unhealed. Three 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 on the three 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 on the clock when I said that. I'm not required to sit around and be the punching bag for somebody that is unhealed. Now, while I might have love in my heart for somebody, you're not finna be in my space, though. You're not finna be in my space. We always want to feel bad when other people do us wrong, but that shit ain't got nothing to do with you. That's something that's broken within their spirit. And if you let it... Yeah, something broken in their spirit. Somebody's feeling shame in their spirit. Somebody's feeling shame while someone else is shining. We got to speak up. Courage, spirit is encouraging someone to use. Somebody needs to clear their throat chakra so they can communicate effectively. I'm going to pull that throat chakra card out too so we can all... Um, and we got grounding. Someone needs to ground their root chakra. Someone needs to um really work on opening up their chakras. So um, they may be blocked with negative energy. They may be blocked with grief. They may be blocked with shame. Mm. 
Yeah, for the root chakra. I'm just gonna put that up there, y'all can. Like that's the sound therapy for your root chakra. Different aromatherapies that you can use. When I say somebody crown chakra. I mean, y'all can pause this and, and read those if you need. It tells you what um, spirit guides to call on, what sound therapy, what aromatherapy, your affirmations, characteristics when this chakra is off. Yeah, your um, crown chakra, it's uh, connected to your wisdom and your selflessness. Say influences thoughts about love, compassion, ethics, connection, harmony, devotion, peace, and enlightenment. It issue, issues include obsessive thoughts, being easily confused, depressed, quickly tired, epilepsy, Alzheimer's, and it affects your pineal gland, gland your central nervous system, and your cerebral cortex. So yes, this affects your third eye. This affects your intuition. So somebody needs to ground their crown, that um, open their crown chakra, and then your root chakra as well. It's like your root chakra. This um. It's associated with survival. This is why they like to keep you worried about how much money you make, worried about if you're going to be able to pay your bills, worried about if you're going to be able to eat. This is why they keep you. Because this is why they call it root work, because they work on your root chakra. They keep you unstable. They keep you feeling like you're not grounded. It said influences thoughts about safety, security, ability, needs, inflexibility, anger, desire, greed, and jealousy. Said issues includes an unfocused mind, not reaching goals, unable to stay still, mental fatigue, elements of arthritis. Said it affects the, affects the reproductive systems, tailbone, pelvis, legs, and feet. So somebody um, needs to get grounded and meditate. And I'm going to put that right there so y'all can pause. Y'all can pause for a chance. I don't know why my hands are good. Okay. Different stones that you can carry for your root chakra. You can carry a red jasper or a hematite. Um, I got the red jasper. Um, for your crown chakra, clear quartz or chevron amethyst. Those are the two stones that you can carry. You may want to like carry a little satchel with them because I do. I got two bags of stones in my car. So somebody may... um. Yeah, you need to work on your crown chakra. Work on your sacral chakra as well because there's been a lot of attacks on that. Um, this is um, is associated with your intimacy and your uh, emotional needs. Said influences thoughts about feelings, boundaries, sexuality, creativity, pleasure, attachments, addictions, and letting go. Say issues include sex drive and balance. This is either you're too sexual or you're not sexual enough. If you have a lot of sex, a lot of sex, a lot of sex, a lot of sex, that means that your sacral chakra is off. Um, if you can't control your sexual urges, your sacral chakra is off. Um, if you're having problems getting erection or you have a problem with moisture, if you're a, a feminine energy, that's because your sacral chakra is off. Say issues include sex drive imbalances, feeling vulnerable, sexual incapacity, bladder, prostate difficulties, or back pain. Say affects adrenal glands, spleen, kidneys, blood sugar, and your uterus. And the affirmation for the sacral chakra is I am a creative being and I am free to express myself. My sexuality is healthy, sacred, and safe. I am worthy of all the gifts the universe has to offer. My feelings are here to guide me, not stop me. I am free from addictions and can always choose to open for, to be open for joy and pleasure naturally. So somebody may use a lot of drugs when they have sex. That's um, bad for two reasons. Um, one reason is you're going to mistake what you're feeling as love when it's actually just lust and the drugs are going to magnify that so you're really and truly going to feel like um you're in love with the person that you're connecting with and two when you take the drugs when you take the drugs it opens you up for spiritual um possession it opens you up for other energies to jump inside of your body. You have no safeguard, even with alcohol. Like, um, I want to say the Greek word for alcohol is spirit. So when you drink alcohol, you literally open yourself up to spirits. 
And if you're um, having a sexual connection with someone that is dark or someone that has sexual demons attached to them, then you leave yourself just wide open to, um, yeah, to being um, manipulated by those energies. So if someone does have a, a, a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, and your little confirmation with that loud ass truck, yeah, you need to go park that motherfucker. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, you you need to be mindful. The best sex is sober, sober sex, and the reason being is because you're clear about what you're feeling. It's not the drugs that's making you feel that way. It's not the alcohol that making you feel that way. But if you're completely sober, then you're tapped into your heart chakra and you're actually connecting to someone on an intimate level. If you're drunk and you're high and you're fucking someone, then your dead ass is like you're not connecting with that person on a heart level. You're just connecting with your body and not your spirit. Listen, but somebody is feeling some shame about something. What are they feeling shame about? Mm, long bubble Susie. You may be ashamed because you did black um dark magic. Mm, yeah, you Yeah, somebody got somebody got a guardian angel with them. Still say that's true. So somebody may be feeling shame, but you feel your intuition is telling you something. Yeah, the star to the um ace of swords. Yeah, your intuition is telling you something. You feel you somebody is realizing that they're chosen and they may be feeling shame because of things that they did when they weren't unaware, when they were unaware. But God don't judge you for nothing that you do when you under spells. God don't judge you for nothing that you do when you're all uh, being misguided or if you're making wrong decisions. Like, that's the whole point. But it's just like, do are you learning the lessons? Because that's the whole point of being here is to go through shit and learn the lessons. And when you realize that, for one... It's really ain't nothing to be ashamed about. Most of the stuff, 42, 42 on the clock, because I'm finna say that. Most of the things that people are ashamed about is things that everybody has done or somebody has done. Yeah, with this ground in the four pinnacles in reverse fell on that, so somebody needs to release negative energy and get grounded. Somebody needs to work on their root chakra. Spirit is calling for someone to speak up. They may have um, thought something was a bad decision. It says emotionally you're being called to grow up. Can also indicate frustrating delays or postponements, possible loss or separation or the need to cope with life changes. So yeah, so somebody is needs to be vocal. And somebody needs to grow up emotionally. Somebody is immature when it comes to their emotions. They don't know how to um, speak clearly about what they feel. This may have been a connection where somebody wasn't allowed to speak how they felt. But spirit is calling for you to speak up. Speak your truth. Give me something on this shame, spirit. Yeah, somebody may. Okay. Yeah, you have an emperor here that may be ashamed about uh, someone he connected to sexually. You don't want to, uh, like you want to heal. You feel like you've been through a lot. Like that five of pentacles in reverse, that's healing. You got the star card that is healing to the nine of wands. Yeah, someone has been through a lot. You may feel ashamed about someone that you connected to sexually. This may have been someone of the same sex. Spirit is saying that like there's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, because you got love for someone and wait. 
Man. You're embarrassed and ashamed of the person that you chose to build a home or a family with. You're ashamed of the person that you needed to, uh, that you connected with sexually and may have moved them into your home. Yeah, you was, a, a, you was in a connection with a queen of swords, somebody that, yeah, well, like I said, this is somebody that they couldn't speak how they felt in a situation because they got somebody that think they know it all, somebody that really thinks that what they speak is the gospel truth, but it got somebody in the nine of swords. Somebody needs to uh, um, defend themselves. Like, I feel like somebody wasn't defending themselves in a connection with this queen of wands, I mean, this queen of swords. Because this bitch be talking like big shit and she don't know what the hell she's talking about. It's like she's not nurturing, but somebody chose to, to build a family with this person or to at least have a home with this person. And now they're ashamed because they like, this is not, this is not what the fuck I signed up for. Give me something on this judgment in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that couldn't even speak about how they felt. So what it did was retard this person um, emotionally. Like somebody emotionally couldn't, yeah, spirit of sin to have released yourself. You got to uh, speak up and release yourself. Yeah, king of pentacles with this ground and spirit of sin. Yeah, you got to let go of this friend group. Yeah, spirit saying somebody needs to disconnect. What the 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 connection that this person was in made them disconnect from their true self. Spirit said it's time for you to rest and reflect. Yeah, you um and, and stop giving to people, and I, this doesn't even necessarily mean monetarily. This can be, just mean energetically. Somebody needs to cut a connection with someone. This is this is some depressing ass energy. I ain't got shit good on the tables all day. I'm saying all day like I've been on here for hours. <laughs> but this is sad. Somebody was literally oppressed in a connection. Or either this emperor may want to go into a love connection and build a home with someone and build a foundation with someone, but they're ashamed of something. What are they ashamed of, spirit? You didn't have any boundaries. I don't know why I feel like this is sexually. I feel like sexually you didn't have any boundaries. But all the people that you connected to like caused conflict and drama in your life. Give me something on this. Man. Man, to the death card. That's why somebody's ashamed. That's what it is. Okay, so somebody's not, doesn't feel shame. Somebody is trying to make someone feel shame. With this judgment in reverse, somebody's trying to make somebody feel like they're not making a good judgment call. Whatever this queen of, War, uh, queen of swords is saying to this emperor is got him in the nine of swords at night because it's like his spirit is pulling him in another direction. And somebody is using something that this man had, may have done sexually to put him in the nine of swords and to make him feel shame and to make him feel unsure about his decision. But with this ground and you got the four of pentacles in reverse to the three of cups in reverse, this person has released this energy as you should. This is an oppressive energy. I don't know why I'm getting a Karen vibe from this. Somebody that's entitled, that think they know everything and don't know shit, that all they know how to do is keep people in a dark sunken place because that's where they are and that's where they feel comfortable. When somebody wants to evolve spiritually, they feel like they're left behind. They may have abandonment issues. So they start throwing words and, and shit out there to get somebody in this judgment and reverse this confused energy. I heard oppressor. This is somebody's goal is to keep someone oppressed mentally and spiritually. 
But somebody has pulled back from this energy though. With the six with the six of pentacles in reverse to the moon in reverse to the three of cups in reverse to the four of pentacles in reverse. If that ain't releasing the motherfucker, I don't know what it is. Or maybe it's this queen of swords that's in the nine of swords. Ah, that's what it is. She's in the nine of swords. That's what it is. Because she done did a lot to, to sabotage this chosen one. And with the five of pentacles in reverse, nothing worked. Like this person just keeps healing. Listen, I just seen the five of cups to the four of cups. Yeah, she's sad as hell. She feel like she missed an opportunity. Why would she need to keep this person? Well, I already know why. Because you can't get because lower level entities can't feed off of higher vibrational beings. They need their vibration low because that's the only way they have access to their energy. I can't make it up. To the two of cups, death card to the two of cups. So somebody is um whatever is going on with this queen of swords was destined to happen. It was destined for this cycle to close. Yeah, she's in the sunken place with about this. Yeah, five of swords in reverse. She defeated herself with her mouth. It's your mouth. It's the shit that you be popping. Listen, I can't even make it up to the two of swords. That's what got somebody blocking you out. And you depress this shit, but you still like want to have sex with somebody. Somebody want to have sex with that dry ass energy? Listen to the Ten of Cups in reverse. This may be the breakdown of a family. This may be a um, divorce. Yeah, and somebody's going to be victorious while somebody in the Four of Cups. Why? Because their manipulation didn't work. All the negative things that someone is saying to someone to try to put them in a shameful energy. It's like they feel like this emperor should be ashamed about who he's going to connect to. But this person clearly sees this person as they twin flame with the two of cups to the four of wands. This death card is throwing me off. But I think that it's just game over for the manipulation with the shame. It's not working anymore because this emperor is clearly moving on. You got the three lovers to the four of wands to the two of cups. Listen, lovers to the four of wands to the two of cups. This is a like a twin. This is like finding your soul in somebody else's body. That's what that is. That's finding your soul in somebody else's body. So somebody recognizes that whatever connection that they're going into, that this person is definitely their match. Listen, six of wands, victory. Yeah, the fool, he wants to take a risk. Yeah, you got a king of swords in reverse and a king of wands in reverse that wants to lay somebody to rest. So you may have two friends in your mix that have invested heavily into your demise. And they heartbroken because that shit is just, why are they heartbroken? I see the temperance card. Oh yeah, you got a prostitute too. So this is three people. You got two men and a woman and a woman. Well, actually three women. Damn. What? You got the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you got a baby mama, you got a prostitute that you may have dealt with. You got two homeboys, and then you got a Queen of Swords. That is trying to bring you conflict. But with this temperance, you got a, a guardian angel out here. And they hate the fact that they can't stop you, Emperor. They hate it. They mad as shit. That's a, a whole group of people. Maybe that was that three of cups that I saw. But this is like five or six different people that hate the fact that you see someone else as your as your um your equal, your partner. Oh, yeah, somebody needs to work on their throat chakra, work on your sacral chakra, and work on your crown chakra. Somebody needs to work on all their chakras. Yeah, and spirits, stop being the wounded he healer. Being the martyr. Sacrificing yourself for the sake of a relationship. You should never have to sacrifice who you are on a core level for a relationship. And once you start compromising who you are, you're just going to stay in that loop of compromising who you are. And I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine and a divine and a feminine. 
a feminine energy. I can't say a divine feminine energy, but a feminine energy. Somebody really thought in their head that if they did it like this and did it like he wanted, he wanted like this and he wanted like that, and he wanted like this, he wanted like that, that that would make somebody actually want to be with you because you're quote unquote so flexible. And I feel like that's inside the bedroom and out. But the fact of the matter is, is you just showed a man that you basically can be bought. You just showed a man that you ain't got no limits on what you wouldn't do. And to a woman in their mind, in a slow mind, it might feel like, yeah, shit, I'm going to do everything he wants. He's going to definitely want to be with me. And it's like, nah, you just showing a man that you ain't got no boundaries and no motherfucking morals and standards about yourself. Because contrary to what motherfuckers believe, when it comes down time to settle down, like a man wants a woman that he know that if he get up and go and walk to the motherfucking bathroom, this next nigga that got bread that walk up and try to speak to my woman and try to get her ain't going to sneak and get this nigga number on the low. So when you're the type of bitch that can be bought, yeah, it ain't nobody going to trust you. Especially not with they hurt. Especially not with they feelings and they real emotions. And if they do, then they need, they deserve whatever pain and trauma that you give to them. I mean, why would you trust somebody that you know can't be trusted? Maybe. Shit, when somebody shows you who they are, believe it. And that be the problem. We don't be, yeah, self-sabotage. And that's what the hell it be too, self-sabotage. When somebody do some fuck shit to you and you forgive them and you keep giving to them and you keep trying to love them, that's like trying to pet, that's trying like trying to pet a rabid dog. It's like you keep trying to pet the dog and the dog keep biting you. Then you're like, okay, fuck him. Okay, maybe next time if I go in and I pet the dog and maybe if I pet him like this, he won't bite me. I, I bit you again. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let me try to take him a snack. Maybe if I take him a snack, he won't bite me. Then you go in and the motherfucker bites you again. It's like when they bit you the first time, you feel me? When they bit you the first time, you should have said, okay, that's a rabid motherfucking dog. Let me keep it moving because if all the snacks, all the treats that I got for this motherfucker ain't going to mean shit if he ain't riding the mind. And that's what it be with a lot of, a lot of people is like they have rabid minds, like their minds is infected. And they go out and they start biting the fucking world. But you got to accept some type of responsibility if you keep trying to pet that motherfucker and you know it bit you the first time. Shit. Give me two more spirit. Then I'm going to get up out of here. Intuition. Spirit is telling someone to, to ground themselves and trust your intuition. Trust your guidance. Trust your ancestors. And stop sabotaging somebody is doing self-sabotage because of something they feel ashamed about. And Spirit is saying you have no need to be ashamed. We got gang, gang, Sarah, resistance. And we got waking in the reverse. So somebody is resisting their all. Um, They're awakening. Somebody wants to stay in karmic view. They want to stay connected to the um, energy that they're connected to out of desire. Mm, that never works out. Yeah, somebody, somebody's stuck in a sexual cycle with someone. Yeah, Spirit said that resistance is going to cause you to lose it all. Or you resisting, but you sad as shit. Yeah, you you ain't, you're awakening, you're, because uh, you're too busy partying. Somebody's too busy partying. Somebody too busy out here. Yeah. Child. Somebody's um, spirit they gonna miss they call it. Damn. Somebody may um watch somebody in, on social media. You may feel like they're inspiring. They awaken something in your spirit. You feel like they're your, their wish fulfillment. With the seven cups in reverse, you feel like you don't want to have a lot of options anymore, and you put a death to that. 
Okay. Okay. Give me something. Man. And why that flew way over there? Shit. Under the resistance cards, we got the five of cups to the ace of pentacles. So somebody may be going, they may have initially resisted this awakening. Listen, I can't make it up to the four of swords. Somebody's healing. Somebody may have initially resisted this, but um, spiritually, somebody is going from the five of cups feeling empty, depleted, feeling like they're losing everything to feeling like they have been given a gift from the gods spiritually. So somebody is maybe being obedient to the process now that they are initially may have resisted. This awakening in the reverse, you got the four of wands to the four of swords. may have felt like there was no balance in your life listen to the two of cups so yeah somebody is awakening they initially resisted this but somebody inspired them i feel like somebody's heart chakra is opening and they put a depth to all the options that they had because they feel like one person is like everything that they want and need Okay, I feel like this one is getting a little better, y'all. 101 on the clock. Listen, seven of swords in reverse. Like, it ain't going to be no betrayals, no drama, no... um. It's going to be strong to the strength card. It's going to be something that's very powerful. Somebody got to upgrade spiritually. These curls about to get on my nerves, y'all. I'm so ready to take this damn hair down. And it's crazy because if it was something that I love, this shit would have been day down. To, it, this shit would have been down day fucking one. <laughs> the first time I sweated good, it would have came down. But now, this shit is like, <laughs> it dead ass will not come out. So I'm stuck with it for a minute, child. And I want to brush the curls out. But when I do, I look like a fucking 80s rock band around this bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so dehydrated. I need to drink some water. I need to make me a smoothie. Yeah, somebody, you may look at somebody like you feel like they've been through a lot. Or either you've been through a lot. You may have went in hermit mode and you got people that want to bring you conflict because of that. They want you to remain in this toxic energy. They may have been causing conflict to try to get you enraged. But with this knight of swords in reverse, that shit didn't happen. Yeah, listen, you pull back sexually from some people and you are like in healing energy with the sun card to the six of wands. I can't, I can't make it up. I mean, the six of swords, you letting your ancestors guide you. Mm, and that death that somebody planned for you, mm -mm. I can't make this shit up. Ten of swords to the judgment in reverse. Somebody do, um, somebody made a bad decision on trying to kill somebody because that's all that's going to land you is in jail with this eight of swords. Somebody's going to prison. Listen. Yeah, you may have tried to get this person locked up, but that shit backfired on you because you're the only one that's going to jail. And the spirit said that that is all true. Somebody's going to prison. The spirit said not jail, prison. A queen of cups in reverse and by the mother of someone's children. And then you also have a queen of swords that you may have been given to both of these people. This queen of swords may be a sister, but you stopped giving to them because you found out some information. Five of swords in reverse. Yeah, they defeated. These two people may have been working together and that might have blew your mind because you didn't think that they would go a tag team against you, but they did. So this may be the mother of your children and a sister. 
Yeah, somebody you may have grew up with. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person hates you. This may be somebody that might have been. Yeah. They feel like you're going to leave them out of cold with this Five of Pentacles and they want to rob you for everything you got. Yeah, you got a Queen of Cups, your baby mama. Like, she don't want you to walk into your destiny. She wants you to have bad she's or she's going to have bad karma. The connection that you want to go into, you may be in King of Swords energy with people because you feel like it's your job or you feel like something in your spirit is pulling you to protect this person. Yeah, you feel like you've known this person your whole life. You want to go in with this Knight of Cups and take an um, offer. Yeah, you want to take a risk and work with this person. You got a king of wands in reverse that's mad as shit at you. He's pissed. He's not very wise. And he's he this is a person that is led by their emotions. Like they don't have they don't have the ability to um be discerning. They don't have the ability to um yeah, his this, this man is all his chakras is blocked. Like he's dead inside. He's like whole demon time inside. Yeah. But you ain't accepting no apologies from nobody and you walking the fuck away from people. Smart move. Because all these people rat. There's a lot of a lot of karmic energy on the board today. Spirit, can we get Oh man. But you have someone that inspired you to want to be in a connection and want to heal. It's gonna be a lot of celebrations with this person. A lot of um lightheartedness, because I've seen that um food card. It's not going to be stressful. Yeah, you got a mother of your children that wants you to miss your destiny because you're destined, you weren't destined to be with her. And she wants to make you miss that with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, what are we going to do now, Spirit? What next? Okay, let's do one of these. I want to pull on some emotions too with this love oracle and see if somebody is feeling in their heart and in their spirit. And we got a heartbreak in reverse, so someone may be healing um, from a karmic relationship. You may have been sad at first, you may have been hurt. You may have felt lost. You was grieving, mourning, but with this heartbreak in reverse, you're no longer feeling that. You may be feeling chemistry with someone else or passion with someone else. The phoenix rising. Yeah, you're healing. Somebody's healing. I'm not say nothing to say that. Yeah, you may have been a person that had a lot of options. Um, an unconventional lifestyle. You may have man more than one woman or more than one man. Take it how it resonates, but those people stand you in the back. Um, you may be making healthy, healthier choices in your life. Um, you may be looking at photos of someone, missing them. You may want to make new memories with someone. You may feel passion for this person. Ah, ah, damn, I heard that's an understatement. Damn. <laughs> and listen, I can't even make it up. Dad, listen, <laughs> I can't even make it up. Somebody is feeling mad passion for somebody. This is like waking up in the morning. Wood. <laughs> During the day, the thought would. At night, the thought would. Like somebody is, somebody is, who are we? Feeling the pressure down there. <laughs> oh shit. You got somebody gossiping about that. Yeah, somebody's gossiping. They feel like you're not gonna be able to make it in a connection. They feel like you too um they feel like uh you won't be satisfied with just one woman. This spirit said, them bitches sadly mistaken. Mm, damn. 
because people think, I feel like <laughs> one ten on the clock is I'm finna say this. I feel like the more people you need in the bedroom, that tells me the more trash your sex is because, um, when you are the star, you feel me? You shouldn't need no help. <laughs> motherfuckers be having four and five motherfuckers in the bedroom, bitch. And it's like, damn, that just tells me that your shit is trash. Mm. Yeah. So I hate it for you. I had a couple people offer me to do a threesome. And I'm like, <laughs> when I sit, when your woman watch me fuck the shit out of you, that bitch gonna want to kill me in real time. Now look, the hammer. <laughs> oh shit. And it's be like, you know, women don't even understand that bitch when you bring other women in the bedroom, like you just training your replacement, dumbass. <laughs> the fuck? And if you a man that feel like you gotta have a whole bunch of different women, that means that ain't none of them women satisfying you in real time. Because if the initial person that you was connected with was really satisfying you and really taking care of you and really making you feel a certain type of way, you wouldn't need other women. Oh, shit, maybe that's just my common sense superpowers kicking in. One eleven on the clock. Give me something on this heartbreak in reverse. Listen, nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's not going through shit with people no more. They, like, done it over with. Now, who is this person being nostalgic about spirit? I just seen the Empress. Okay. Yeah, somebody may be masturbating to someone's photos. <laughs> you know what, child? <laughs> then you got a Queen of Wands, a whole that's out here trying to sabotage some shit. She is consistent with it. Yeah, somebody may be um pleasuring themselves to someone's photos. Because you got the Knight of Wands to the photo. So somebody is definitely, um, <laughs> child. Give me something else on this heartbreak spirit. Oh, yeah, two of wands. Yeah, somebody is making plans. Somebody is, um, my hell is itching. Yeah, you got a, a yeah, this bitch. You got a little hot pocket over here that's in the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups, okay? Because she was trying to bring conflict and drama to someone that did, just didn't work. But with this hammer, she's still trying it. I'm so over this energy. Why are we stuck in this energy spirit? Yeah, somebody may be stalking someone on social media as well. With this Knight of Wands to the Page of Swords. Somebody may be obsessively stalking. <laughs> So do this person be doing that to their videos too, Spirit? I don't know why I heard videos. Somebody may be like watching somebody um, post and maybe like watching their lips or if they laugh and they like open their mouth, like somebody is having like thoughts of like putting their wand like in somebody's, in somebody's mouth. Spirit, why are we doing this? <laughs> they say it's necessary. Why is that necessary? Yeah, but this person is in love with this person. I feel like they like over having to do this though. Give me something that's heartbreak or reverse bit. Yeah, eight of swords in reverse. Somebody freed themselves from a connection that was full of betrayal. Yeah, listen, heartbreak in reverse to the victory. Two of wands to the nine, to the seven, six of wands. Oh, no, it's going crazy. Give me something else on this. Um, Man, this pleasure in himself. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. You might have um, fell back from women that you normally would have sex with. Because you want to heal with this five of pentacles in reverse. But sexually, your libido is going up because you keep watching someone and you're looking at pictures and you find someone... Uh, you're like very sexually attracted to someone. Spirit is calling for you to balance out your sexual energy. Balance out your sexual energy so that when you do come into this person's presence, you're not over, um, overbearing. 
Yeah, you got to release that. I can't even make it up to the Eight of Swords. The Spirit is calling for you to uh, get your, you got to work on your sacrum. Someone needs to work on their sacral chakra. Because like I said, if you, you're you too overly sexual or you're not sexual enough, then that means that there's an imbalance in your sacral chakra. So somebody needs to um get that together. Spirit says, so you don't make a bad judgment call when you do come into this person's energy. Yeah, this Queen of um, Cups, this little hot pocket over here got laid to rest. And I don't know if that's in real time or if somebody just laid, laid to rest the connection with them. Give me something else on this heartbreak spirit. In reverse. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This person may... <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody might try to attack somebody with a hammer or somebody may have tried to attack somebody with a hammer. Or someone may be attacked with a hammer. Yeah, somebody's going to rush and try to do this, but it's going to blow up in their face. I feel like somebody's going to get their ass toe out the frame. Yeah, and that's going to be someone's TikTok to move on from the connection. Yeah, somebody may have tried to... Um... Yeah, this may have been somebody's way of trying to stop somebody from watching someone. Like they might have seriously tried to attack somebody with a with a hammer. Look, that knock. That was confirmation. Yeah, because they jealous that you have feelings or um are connected to someone emotionally. This person is heartbroken because somebody is not um working with them anymore. Yeah. And either they want to try to put a death to your finances or either because you closed out a connection, they are no longer abundant. So their finances may have been tied to you. Yeah, and they're trying to figure out how they can bring you conflict or how they can make you feel like the connection that you're going into isn't your wish fulfillment. Yeah, they want to block it out so you can't close out a cycle. But from what it looks of it, somebody already did. Somebody doesn't get that the game is over. Yeah, they can't believe that you're not giving to them anymore. And this is a lot of bread. You might have been giving somebody like bands. And that you actually want to go into a family dynamic with someone. Yeah, they depressed the shit because they know you got all this money. And they also know that they can't sneak you. And that you've elevated from king of pentacles to emperor status. Like you're really standing in your boss energy. Like you calling shots and you and, and whatever the fuck you say goes. Yeah, they can't believe that you're not going to leave somebody else out in the cold and that they're going to be left out in the cold. It's game over. Like somebody doesn't get that the game is over. And this was a prostitute too. So I'm trying to understand why she thought she had. Oh, child, a leg to stand on. Oh, shit, spirit, we just not. And somebody yeah, is definitely uh, masturbating to someone's videos or to someone's photographs. But spirit says you need to balance out that energy before you come into the connection with someone. I don't know why I heard rape. That's crazy. So you need to balance that energy out. That's like a demon. That's like a sex demon on you. Somebody needs to um, really work on their sacral chakra. So that you um so that all that desire that you have been um stoking doesn't um lead to something that you'll regret, spirit says. Let's dig into some feelings, y'all, and then we're gonna get up out of here. I gotta hurry up. I gotta get out of here. Oh my goodness, I gotta get out of here. Trying to remember if I got gas or not. I want to say I do. Oh, yeah. Yep. I gassed up last night. Give me three out of this one, Spirit. And then, listen. Popo was out here early. Who the hell got these fools going early? I know if it's some bullshit if I hit more than one. <laughs> that means high speed chase. <laughs> oh, shit.
So someone's throat chakra may be blocked. They don't feel like they can talk to someone right now. And then it says, just stuck in visions of us together. So yeah, so somebody is fantasizing about someone, but they feel like they can't make a move on it right now and they're unable to express themselves. Listen, I can't make it up to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody's throat chakra is blocked. Somebody need to clear all their chakras at this point. The emperor to the queen of swords. So this is a man that may be in his boss energy, but he got a woman in his mix that just really thinks she know everything and she really don't know shit. And she's trying to run the show, but she is misinformed and she's passing along the misinformation. She don't want you to be an emperor. She just wants you to be a king of pentacles. She just wants you to um, just shut up and get the money. Sounds like a slave to me, shit. Yeah, yeah king of pentacles. Yeah, she want to sabotage you for your money. She don't want you to be an emperor set. Because emperor is like the boss. This is somebody that is calculated in their decisions. This is somebody that um thinks before they react. Somebody that is emotionally mature. But she wants somebody to be the opposite of that. Mm. Listen, I can't look the higher fan in reverse. Damn. Whoa. Give me something on this. I can't do this right now. Man, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. To the four of wands, I'm telling you. Shit. Man. This should just keep going left, y'all. Damn. Give me one on this. I can't express myself. Well, to this, I am stuck in visions of us together. We got the death card. So I don't know if. Peace. So you got the death card to the four of cups. So somebody may, damn, somebody may know that someone has their eye and their mind on something else. I feel like they may catch this person daydreaming a lot. Um, and it has got them enraged. Like they literally want to take somebody out. Or someone may have ended a connection with someone because they see their life with someone else. And this person is in the four of cups feeling like they missed um, an opportunity to maybe take this person out. I'm just like, yeah, this shit is heavy on the board. Literally every read, it's been about somebody trying to murder somebody around this bitch because this, cause somebody is not showing them any attention or any affection and love. Yeah, somebody's jealous as shit and hateful in their spirit. And it's, this failed up on it. I can't do this right now. So somebody may be dealing with this type of energy. Like they have visions of, this is just all a tactic though to slow somebody down. And then with this, I can't express myself with the nine of cups in reverse. I feel like somebody is in a connection with someone that's delusional, who's mentally is not balanced. Like they can't express themselves in a logical um mature way this is a person that this is maybe this devil energy that um yeah that feels like this is a person that just tears up shit because they don't know how to express themselves with this devil to the king of cups in reverse yeah this may be a masculine energy as well too that is um toxic as shit full of hate give me one more on this i can't express myself
Yeah, this is somebody that is emotionally immature. Yeah, somebody may have known that a group of people that they may have been connecting with was not wish fulfillment. They may have just been kind of biding the time with these people. And they enraged about that shit. They mad as fuck. Mm. Damn, you got the devil to the star. Somebody's been, they, listen, defeated. Yeah, and going to jail. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's going to prison. Whatever somebody did in a fit of rage, with this, I can't express myself. This is somebody that, um, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to lose it all. And that's just not money. This is like literally lose it all. Five of Swords defeated. Or you got a chosen one that is going to a Ten of Cups. Give me something else on it. Yeah, whoever this is that um is in this four of cups, like they may be blocked on social media. They may not be able to stalk someone. Or or spiritually they may have lost their sight. And they freaking out because they don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, somebody try to keep this King of Cups chained in this negative energy. Somebody try to keep someone bound to this negative energy, but instead they healed. And they like want to go into a family dynamic or they feel like this star energy can heal them. Yeah, you got somebody that's confused that why somebody, somebody's not giving to them, why they not receiving a large sum of money from someone no more okay this goes back to what i said earlier yeah somebody needs to balance out their sexual energy spirit says so that you can understand that you can connect to someone So that if in case somebody turns you down sexually, you can still be open. You can still have your heart open. The person that you're going to connect to is very, is you may... Okay, that's what it is. He's going to realize that. Yeah, spirit is saying that you need to balance out your sexual energy. Um, and connect with someone on a spiritual level. With this page of pentacles, I feel like. The hell is this? What, what sense would that make no spirit? They would know if they were having sex with them or not. So you had someone that you may have stopped having sex with that came to you and told you that you was pregnant because they want you to show them some love. This person may have gotten an abortion. Because it's like you had sex with someone and y'all traded DNA, right? But it's like she may have gotten an abortion with this two of swords. She might have um, terminated the pregnancy. The fuck? The moon in reverse. I'm exposing somebody. This shit is crazy as hell. So somebody, but you weren't having sex with this person. So why did they think that that would work? Yeah, you was holding back. Because they was trying to bring conflict and drama. So yeah, and that shit blew up in their face. But somebody is really trying to make somebody believe that they're pregnant by them. But they weren't intimate with them at the time that they conceived.
And then also, too, Spirit is saying balance out your sexual energy so that if somebody does put their guard up with you, that you can still have love in your heart because most of your relationships, I'm assuming that you started with having sex and Spirit wants you to connect with somebody on a deeper level. Yeah, spirit is calling for someone don't go in with sex because this person may put their block, their um, their guard up to you because this is someone that's temperance and balanced. And if you go in with this sexual energy, they may block you. I feel like this may be somebody that's celibate, so you can't go in just wanting to have sex because somebody that's not going to work with this temperance energy, they will block you out. So Spirit is saying, don't go in with sex. Like you can go in and have a good time and get some good news and, and bring some good news. Or you may want to bring them a gift. But Spirit is saying that this person is going to be so much love that you might need, you. it may be shocking to you that you can actually have a good time with someone and not um, need sex to do it. The hell happened there? That shit. So take that how it resonates, child. I don't... Shit. <laughs> yeah, you want to go into a connection with a queen of empress that you think is very beautiful. With this queen of... And this empress to the queen of wands, you want to connect with this person. You two are going to create a child together. That may be why spirit is saying get to know each other first. But I feel like y'all going to bring balance to each other. Y'all going to realize that y'all have a lot in common. Yeah, but you see someone that's very beautiful. You see someone that embodies like all of the queens, but you like physically you feel like this person just like does it for you. Like just looking at this person excites you. This may go back to the person that is you know, <laughs> that's doing they thug fizzle. <laughs> Shit, ain't nothing wrong with it. I, you, I'd rather take care of myself than go out and connect with someone else, like, in real time, especially if it's somebody new, because you just don't never know, because motherfuckers be in this jealous and envious um, energy, and you just don't know until you don't want to connect with them anymore, and then all their true colors come spilling out, and it's like, that shit, I'd rather take care of myself. I just seen that four wands. You may feel like this is a... um. Oh, shit. We got the emperor to the empress. Okay. We got counterparts with that two of um, cups. Yeah, you may be taking action and calling judgment and stepping into your destiny. You may be... um. You may have been a religious person, but for some reason you're like falling back from that. You may be um, moving more towards spirituality with the star card and the chakras. Somebody may have been in church for like the most of us all our lives. Like a lot of people think because, you know, I'm, in, I'm almost in the spiritual energy that I've never been to church, but I spent 28 years in church. And I was more broken when I came out of church than when I went in. So I feel like somebody is on that. I just seen that higher in reverse again. Yeah, somebody may be falling back from religious sectors and they may be on a more spiritual journey. Yeah, they putting in the work. And that's beautiful. I wouldn't have a problem with churches if y'all actually help somebody heal. Yeah, eight of cups, you walking away. This is over here is crucial. I feel like it's going to be a breath of fresh air for this person to be able to say certain things to this temperance energy and it not get a fucking five of swords reaction. Because this in this, I can't express myself. This is a situation where somebody could not even speak their truth. Somebody hates this emperor and this empress with this devil to the king of cups in reverse. They feel like this um, star energy is going to have it all. Listen to the... Okay, listen, I can't even make it up. They want to kill both of them, child. They want to kill both of them. But the ancestors like, nah, we'll move them to common waters before you can even attempt to do any of this. 
Somebody ancestors ain't playing. You got a king of wands that's making plans. But he just wasting his money. But he ain't got no money. I'm trying to figure out how he's making plans and he broke. Or he mad because somebody ain't he giving to them anymore. They ain't a five of cups in reverse, child. Ain't nobody finna go there with this king of wands in reverse today. But this is beautiful over here. We got two counterparts. Yeah, Spirit said to uh, balance out your sacral chakra. Balance out your sexual energy before you come into this person's space. Um... Because if you're too aggressive sexually, this person is going to throw their guards up. Because with this temperance card, this is somebody that's balanced in their sexual energy. Spirit said, just let it happen naturally. I, I, I just heard not by force. So um, if you don't balance out this energy, it's going to be a situation where this person is telling you that they don't want to have sex with you. And then if they say that, you're gonna your ego is going to take over as opposed to your spirit. Because your spirit is going to respect that. Your ego gonna be like, nah, bitch, give it to me. And yeah, that'll get you fucked up. So spirit is saying to connect with the person on a more intimate level first before you have intercourse with them. And also no drugs or alcohol when you first connect with this person. Cause this person is going to become pregnant and spirit wants you to be clear about what you're feeling for this person without the clouded judgment of drugs or alcohol. So I don't know if you're that's if you're someone that indulges in those things um, on a daily, but um, when you connect with this person, mm, spirits say you might not even have the desire for that anymore once you connect with this person, because I feel like it was a coping mechanism to be in this situation with somebody where you felt bound. So you may have did drugs and alcohol just to kind of escape mentally from this I can't express myself oppressive ass energy that's full of hate. So you may have been using that just to be able to cope, but you're going to realize that in this atmosphere, you may not even have the desire for it. Mm. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here because this video is entirely too long. I already know it's going to take two years to um upload. But congratulations to someone on their healing and breaking free of this oppressive energy. I don't know why this is giving me a whole Karen vibe. You know, they think they run shit. But they running nothing but they mouth. They are definitely not true divine feminine energy. Divine feminine energies feed your spirit and grow you. That person right there just wanted to keep somebody stuck in negative energy. Where they couldn't even speak. They true. All right, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Um, the part where I showed the sacrament and the cards, like y'all can pause it right there and get all the information off of there. Because um, I promise you that helps. When I get up every morning and I balance out my energy and I work on certain chakras, I wake up and I assess how I feel energetically. And then I try to determine like which chakra needs the most work. Um, your heart chakra down, which is your root chakra, your um, sacral chakra, your solar plex, and your heart chakra, those three chakras um, are personally yours. That determines you personally. From the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown chakra, that is your connection to other people. So you have to ground the first four chakras first before you can connect with other people. So, you know, work on those, those root chakras, root sacral, solar plex, and your heart chakra. Those need to be open and vibrating. And a lot of times people think that, oh, your art, your chakra is blocked and stopped. No, it's like a light. And it's like the more you work on them, the more you um, clear energy from them, the brighter they shine. So it's like, and then your chakras go, they maybe four or five inches out. And then out your back too, it's like a beam that, that enters and then exit. So you had like you got a six inch space around you. That's why I mean like a six feet space around you that is just your energy, period. Now, what they did during the COVID shit was told you to stay six feet away from people because what was happening is all the people that were aligned, like myself, would go into people's energetic space and we would activate their ascension. So that is why they kept telling you to stay six feet apart. It didn't have nothing to do with you getting nobody sick. They played y'all. <laughs> Yeah, they knew that they, the time was coming for um, 
the apocalypse. See, people think that the apocalypse is like, oh, Armageddon and, you know, it's going to be fucking uh, smoke and everything's going to burn down to the ground. But no, apocalypse means like the awakening of knowledge. Like it was a lot of people that were awakening to their spiritual gifts and they had to make sure that for that whole year, people stayed away from each other. Because all the ascended people, all the ascended masters was going to be activating people spiritually. That's why they wanted you to stay six feet apart, boo. It ain't had nothing to do with you getting nobody sick. That shit was a whole shit show. And people still don't even get that they got hustled. Got hustled. T toilet tissue people got paid like a motherfucker. And I'm trying to understand. There's a saying that tissue is gold, right? But that saying only applies when you're out in the woods. Because <laughs> you don't want to wipe your ass with a piece of poison ivy or something that is toxic, right? That's the only way that applies that tissue is gold. So y'all motherfuckers went out and bought like mad toilet tissue when you at home. If you ran out of tissue, you could have just, yeah, you could have just hopped in the shower or something, you know? You know, wipe with a towel or something. Like, y'all motherfuckers really went out and bought, like, 5,000 things of tissue. Y'all left all, this is the shit that fucked me up. It's like, y'all left all the wipes, right? <laughs> I went in and what? No tissue. I said, shit. I grabbed all the wipes. Because I would rather have the wipes than the tissue because dry tissue ain't really getting you clean. Y'all motherfuckers left all the wipes. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was a whole fucking hustle. I wasn't falling for none of it. Y'all not sticking me with shit. Y'all not putting that. And then a lot of times y'all said that, oh, I got took the COVID shot and I got sick. You didn't get sick. You know what happened? Is when they stuffed that Q-tip all the way up your fucking nose and all the way up here, this is your brain barrier. That is close to your third eye. When you got a cold or your body was reacting to that, that's because they stuck something, allegedly, in your brain barrier. Yeah. Only way to get that out is like stick something up your nose and pull your brain out. So all you people that got that shit stuck up, jammed up your fucking nose. Yeah. When I seen them do the shit, I knew they weren't finna do it to me. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> and I did get sick during that time. I think I, I had a, like 102 fever. Man, I promise you, I made me some tea. I think I was good in like six hours. I laid down. Let that shit sweat out my body. Shit, I was back up and at them less than 24. So y'all did all that extra shit when shit. You could have just went and, you know, got you some herbs and been good. <laughs> my daughter and them caught it. My daughter caught it and her boyfriend caught it. And they were sick for like two weeks. And I'm just like wondering why I ain't heard from her. She's like, you know, I called like she's like, we sick. Please. I took their ass some tea. Both of them was up and at it the next day. <laughs> shit. But I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. I hope those cards can help someone. Um, tomorrow, I'll post the rest of them. Like I said, um, get you some stones. Um, walk on the earth with your bare feet. That is the fastest way to get grounded. That works wonders. It really does. It should feel like, um, I said this before, like on Face Off when they sent him to prison and he had them magnetic boots on. And then the second he put them on, he was kind of like sucked to the ground. That's how it's going to feel when you step on the earth. You're going to feel a pull in your lower spine that is like grounding you to the earth. So I hope that helps, you know, all of you people that are on your um, spiritual journey and you are um, doing great. Congratulations to you is not easy at all being the one picked to um, break generational curses in your family. You're going to have a lot of people turn against you. Some of your own family going to turn against you, even because they like being in um, the cycle. They want to keep the cycle of um, the generational curses going. So you're going to face a lot of enemies at 144 on the clock. When I'm going to say this, you're going to spend a lot of time alone. But use that time wisely to really tap and tune into yourself. And so that when you walk outside these doors, no matter what somebody says or does, you're standing in your power and you're not letting nobody move you off your square. That's very important. It's, it's like I'm proud of how um, centered and balanced I am, how temperanced I am now. Because as a teenager, I promise you, I like even in my early 20s, like I was, I, man, fly. when I say fly off the handle, I will fly off the handle. 
And then I realized that that didn't get, that got me nowhere. And look, 144 on the clock, 1144 on the other clock. I'm telling you, this is some deep shit I'm dropping to y'all right now. Make sure you can stand in your strength and your power because when people control your emotions, they control you. So I, it's a lot of times where people are saying some reckless shit to me and I just be like, <laughs> man, I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you have that only because I don't want to go through the turmoil of how I'm going to feel after I know I let somebody get me out of care. That ain't going to happen. I just sit and smile at a motherfucker right now. Long as I don't see these shoulders flex or move like you finna do something, the second I see these shoulders flex, then yeah, then I'm going there. But as long as this is flexing, as long as your jawbone flexing and you just talking and running your mouth, you can do that shit all day. You can do that shit all day. Now, depending on what day you catch me on, shit, I might throw a couple of jabs back when I promise you they gonna hurt. Because I'm gonna hit you with raw bone facts and I'm gonna hit you with raw bone truth. While the shit that you may be saying to me may be just some shit that, uh, that's a figment of your imagination, what I cut you down with is going to be all motherfucking truth. And once again, that's only if you come for me. <laughs> shit. If you stay in your lane, then I stay in my lane. You know? People cutting in other people's lanes, that's how our fatalities happen. You know? So, shit. I just learned to stay in my lane. Don't swerve in my shit and then we're going to be good. We'll be good. <laughs> shit. But yeah, don't let nobody get you out your square. Don't let nobody control your emotions. When they control your emotions, they control you. We ain't got time for the foolishness. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Peace, y'all. I'm out.